Good morning. Welcome to another episode of What's in My Pantry. I'm your host, Harry's Daniels, owner of Simply Delicious Ranch Dressing. Today, I am here telling you about garlic. Garlic is another one of my favorites. I know that favorite is supposed to mean one, but come on. There are so many good flavorings. I can't just choose one. Garlic is among my favorite spices because of its versatility. And not only its versatility, it also is very much high in health benefits. So let's go ahead and get into it. Garlic is from the onion family. It is a root vegetable like the parts of the onion that we typically eat. Um, just like onions, garlic has a protective skin around it and it's broken up into sections or can be broken up into sections, the bulbs can, um, that are called cloves. And each garlic bulb has typically 10 to 20 cloves. You can break those cloves up and use them by smashing them and peeling the skin away and then chopping the herb or the spice, excuse me, chopping the root vegetable, the clove of the garlic. You can smash it and just continue to smash it, which is one of my favorite things to do because smashing it releases so much of the oils, which is where the flavor lies. Um, I prefer to use fresh garlic over powders and the granulated versions just because the flavor from fresh garlic is just, it's so immense and intense that you're not going to get that from the powders. Though the powders and the grains, they definitely, or the granules, they definitely have their place in the pantry. So don't go and get rid of your garlic powder or granules. I use garlic powder and garlic granules all the time. But if you want to maximize on flavor, if you want to maximize on health benefits, I suggest using um, the fresh. Now, let me tell you a little bit about the fresh. If you're going to cook with the fresh, here's how you should do it. You should chop them up very, chop that fresh garlic up very, very finely. Or like I do, as I said, smash it. So I smash it, I run the knife through it, smash it again and run the knife through it again. You'll know that you're finished smashing because it will be good and sticky and good and stinky. Um, <laughs> that is another thing about garlic. You can't miss it. Um, the flavor and the smell are both very pungent, um, very much intense. And so you're going to get the best of the garlic when you release all of its oils. Place it in a pan or a skillet or your pot with a little bit of fat, whatever you prefer, whether that's cooking oil, olive oil, sunflower oil, or butter. Um, place it in, in a skillet where the butter or what have you, the substance has already melted and, and begun to uh, smoke just a little bit. Uh, you're going to put that that garlic. I suggest adding the garlic to the fat, allowing it to saute. When you start to smell it, then add your other food products. That's what I suggest. Um, if you're going to cook it in, say, a pot of boiling water for rice or pasta, just go ahead, smash it, mince it up, and throw it right on in there. Um, I would throw it in after it starts to boil. I've noticed that if I use garlic in boiling water before it starts to boil, that it, it I don't, I don't know, it, the flavor isn't that strong. So I don't know the science of that. I just know that that's what happens when I, I do it that way. That being said, garlic goes back to um, antiquity. So our African mothers and fathers and brothers and sisters have used garlic for many, many, many different reasons outside of the kitchen. They've used garlic for uh, healing wounds, uh, for overly active menstrual cycles. They've used garlic for treating uh, diseases, physical diseases that, that come from physical activity. If you're an adult, you know what I mean. Um, garlic has been known to lower blood pressure and cholesterol levels. It's also linked to um, helping to retain memory. So diseases like Alzheimer's, for example, can be minimized with, or so studies have shown, can be minimized with uh, consumption 
of garlic. But these things have to be regular. It can't be that, you know, you eat garlic in your food once a month and you think that your blood pressure will be lower. And another thing that we also have to keep in mind that we have to adjust our overall diets if we're going to control certain things and use any um, food product to help us live a better life. I believe that it was Hippocrates who was quoted as saying, let thy food be thy medicine and thy medicine be thy food. I don't know where he got the quote from, but I definitely know that is something that he said. And it is something that I've found to be true. Let your food heal you all around in a holistic manner and, and eat, thing, eat the things that you need regularly. And I think that you will be just fine. Now, where garlic is concerned, let's get back to that. Um, <laughs> You don't only have to just eat the bulb of the garlic. You can also eat the stem. The stems are delicious. You can eat the flowers. The flowers are not only delicious, but the flowers are very, very pretty. When you see garlic start to bloom, when you actually can dig up the garlic in the ground, the bulbs in the ground, you're going to see the stems are going to be very long. Um, and then they form these balls of, of florets, of flowers, little tiny flowers. There is so, they are so beautiful. Once the flowers start to form, then you know that the bulb underneath the ground is ready to be dug up. But as I said, you don't have to just use the bulb of the garlic. If you grow garlic, if you know someone who does, or if there's a community garden around where garlic is being grown, Go ahead and utilize the entire plant, just like chives, just like green onions. That stem is going to, that garlic stem is going to play in the same way. And those flowers can be used for many, many different reasons. They can be decoration. They can be decoration in a flower, um, a, a vase of flowers. They can be decoration on a plate. You can uh, chop them up and sprinkle them on your food to make it pretty and to consume them. So whatever it is you want to do with garlic, I think that you would be just fine in doing it. So the next time you're in the grocery store, the produce aisle, pick up two, three bulbs of garlic and bring them home and just have some fun with them. In the meantime, this is Harice Daniels saying thank you for listening to my expose on garlic. Happy eating!